Good afternoon, fellow leaders of tomorrow, judges, parents, and whoever else may be in this crowd. Humanity is going through a lot right now. You've got COVID, you've got climate change, you've got war, but one issue that many of us may have forgotten about within these past few years of chaos is the water crisis. Now, just over three months ago, I went to the Pork Coquitlam Library's Science Expo. It was a very interesting event with projects ranging from a solar-powered car to a CRISPR vaccine. However, one project caught my eye. Of course, it was one on the water crisis. Two students had built a small, functioning, fast, but most importantly, cheap water filter. And this amazed me, but something that caught my attention even more was the poster board behind their project. It detailed horrific facts about the living conditions in countries like Africa, Pakistan, and Iran, who are currently suffering through major water crises. After reading that, I feel like it is important to let the media know again that this issue has not been resolved yet, and it is not going to get resolved if we do not pay attention to it. We are the lucky ones. We can go to the sink, go to the bathroom, turn on the water, ta-da! Almost infinite water. However, for the people in countries suffering through a water crisis, it is a lot more complicated than a short walk to get their water. They have to dig and dig for hours just to find unsanitary, unfiltered water, and by no means a lot of it. This is why water filters are so necessary to live in these conditions. And even then, water filters don't remove the viruses that could plague the waters. So, because of this, statistically, over a million people die every year because of preventable water diseases like cholera, malaria, or hepatitis. Now let's play with our imaginations a little bit. Imagine you're in, let's say, Africa. <sighs> You dig and dig for hours, feet into the ground, just to find a small puddle of poop water. Then you put it through the water filter. That takes another 30 minutes. And then you drink it. However, only hours later, you are throwing up. Your blood pressure is unbelievably low. You are dying of cholera. Imagine that every sip you take could be your last. This is what real people have to live in fear of every single day, and that's no way to live. In conclusion, the water crisis is nothing to laugh at. It is still slaughtering millions every single year, and many people have forgotten about it, which is the worst part. However, you can help. By donating to water charities, even $5 could probably save lives. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and save some lives.